Hi, my name is Shion. I am a fourth year graduate student in the Balch Lab. Um, and today I will be showing you how to change vacuum pump oil. Uh, vacuum pumps are pretty useful for any synthetic lab where you may need to remove any solvent. Um, and because of this, it is appropriate to keep it up to speed so that it performs as needed. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually disconnect the pump. I want to make sure that I remove the power supply first. That way, nothing goes weird. Um, and then I'm going to disconnect anything else. Uh, so you want to disconnect. Um, um, and we do have an oil mist filter which catches any particles that may come out of your oil. And so we do just want to unscrew that as well. Our lab prefers just using a spent four liter container with the appropriate waste label uh, because they're pretty easy to get rid of uh, and they're very abundant. And this is actually our oil drain. So we'll just insert that into the container and then open the valve for the contents to drain. All right, so now that it is done draining, I am just gonna sit this on a paper towel so it doesn't leak all over the counter. Um, and secure my waste oil. We do need to refill it with some clean pump oil, um, which we also conveniently just keep in another four liter container. Uh, make sure you keep them separate so you don't accidentally pour waste oil into your drained pump. Um, I gotta figure out how to do this and see the oil level. So you'll know you're at a good level when this oil level line, you want to go just a little bit past it. Um, I do have clean oil in there, but I'm not sure that the, in the internal components are clean. So what we're actually going to do is rerun this just with uh, the clean pump oil in there uh, to get any loose matter out. We'll drain it again and then we'll refill it and it'll be good to go. In order to turn the pump on though, I do need to create a seal. So I'll create a seal by putting a septum on the inlet and then turning it on. This actually might spray out too, so I would advise covering your exhaust. Oh, I, I turned it off there. I unplugged it too, didn't I? We're just going to do this until our pump, uh, the pump oil that's in there is warm so that it drains out a little faster. Also, it will um, make sure that the oil does hit every surface within the pump. You can run it anywhere from one minute to five minutes. It's personal preference. I typically stick with five minutes or until I hear uh, the pump idle. Each pump kind of has its own signature sound. Um, and so. I know what the sound is for my pump, so when I hear that noise again, that's when I know I'm good to go.